Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from today's title, this is going to be a vlog of my weekend and what I'm kind of getting up to. I honestly have so much to catch you guys up on, hence why I wanted to do this video, but it's all really exciting and really positive stuff that is going to benefit my YouTube, let's say. Right now I need to film around three, maybe even four videos tonight and it's already half seven. I've just got in from work and I have so much to do. So I'm going to go and grab my makeup right now and then we can sit down and have a proper catch up and I can chat to you guys properly I'm not really going to be speaking to you guys through all the products that I'm going to be using on my face. I will leave a video link down below where I do mention all of my makeup products and show you my routine and stuff. It literally hasn't changed for so long. So if you've seen a makeup video before, I'm probably using exactly the same stuff. But I wanted to use this more as the kind of catch up section of this vlog and chat to you guys about the changes that are kind of going on. So just a quick update on this evening. I am basically home alone at the minute because it's Brad's mum's birthday. I think it's on Sunday. And so he went home back to Norfolk this afternoon and I'm seeing my friends for drinks tomorrow night as well as needing to film all of these videos tonight. So I didn't go down with him then, but I'm getting a train down on Sunday morning. But just in case you wondered, that is why I'm home alone this evening. So then I suppose the biggest update of all and what is probably in the title of this vlog, so you're probably wondering, I have resigned from my full-time job. And yes, as the title says, that is for YouTube. So in two weeks, this is essentially gonna be my full-time job, which right now seems a little bit crazy, but also I think it just seems really surreal because it's something that I've always wanted to do. And now it's like finally happening, which is just mad. Like I actually can't really believe it. But yeah, that is the biggest update that I have. I'm basically gonna be committing to Instagram and YouTube and social media basically full-time, but for myself. So if you didn't know already, I currently have a full-time job working for a company called pan and ice we basically do ice rolls and we have parlors in like london so we have them in westfield and then also in birmingham and manchester and stuff i'm sure some of you have heard of it but currently i'm their social media manager and i've been doing this since may and i've absolutely loved it and i honestly wouldn't change it for the world like i have really loved working here but I've just been so desperate this whole time to go full time on my YouTube, but obviously it's such a financial commitment. Being self-employed in any job is a risk. Like for anybody that's self-employed, they are taking a risk by doing that. Especially with YouTube, people will always ask you how much money you make. And honestly, you never know, like it changes month to month. And there's no real way of knowing that you're definitely gonna make enough money. But luckily it has kind of become steady enough for me that I know that I'm gonna be okay at least, and I will get by it every month. So yeah, I've kind of just taken the plunge, I guess, and just dived head first into it because I kind of just figured like it's something that I've wanted to do for so long and the opportunity came up and I would just kick myself if I didn't at least try so that's exactly what I'm doing and yeah expect a hell of a lot more content from me because as I say I'll be on this 24 7 and there will be so much more coming your way which I'm really excited about so if I look at the moment I've not gone at it half-heartedly like i've done the best i can with the time i have i guess i literally get home from work at around seven o'clock and then go straight onto this whether it's like editing a video or getting ready to film which is exactly what i'm doing this evening and i'll be up until like 3 a.m basically most nights to try and make both ends work and it's been so difficult but obviously the hard work is paying off and to be at this stage where i can give up my full-time job and potentially make this work as a career is insane to me and honestly i know that my following in here is so small in relative to other people but you guys are literally like anybody watching this video now is what has helped me to get to this point and i personally watch so much youtube as well and when people say that i never really understood the extent of it but it literally is like if you didn't watch my videos there would be no way i could do this like at all it just would not work honestly i owe a massive thank you to you guys and i'm hoping that i can thank you by giving you so much more better frequent content like i'm hoping to upload at least three videos a week and then there actually may be more than that depending on what i'm kind of up to and how busy i am and stuff but also i'm going to be able to put more effort into doing giveaways and little things like that like i'm so excited as to what this could become so I'm just going to really quickly finish off my makeup. As I said to you guys, it is just like my normal routine and you've seen it before. So I'm going to finish it off and then I'll pick you back up when I set up to start filming. So I will see you then. Okay, so I finally sorted my face out. I literally just spent about 15 minutes looking for this lipstick and it was in my coat pocket the whole time. 
So that's good. But now I'm ready to film. Basically, I've just done a really, really simple makeup look. When I used to film, the biggest part that I would dread was doing my makeup. Because I always bothered with like false lashes and eyeshadow and stuff. And I just don't do that anymore. Like, I just feel like you don't need it. And it just cuts out so much time for actually getting ready to film. So I've just done a really basic makeup look. And I've been loving filming like this at the moment. But I just really quickly wanted to add to my point of now doing YouTube full time. Because it does mean that there's going to be a lot of things changing. And I know that's not really going to make a lot of sense right now but there is another big change that I can't really speak about right now but I'm just going to kind of let you guys see how it unfolds over time and it will be quite live then you guys will kind of find out all about it as it's all happening so yeah just keep your eyes peeled and subscribe if you're new because there are some very exciting things that I can't talk about right now. Yeah, that's just another added thing to that point that I made earlier. But anyway, I am now going to show you guys my kind of setup for filming. I need to tidy up this area that I'm currently in a little bit because I've been loving using this as a background, but there is just crap everywhere. So I need to clear this area and then get set up with my lights and camera and everything. <laughs> So this area is now kind of clean. I've tidied everything from the sofa and the little table over there. I used to have these fairy lights in my background because I actually used to film in this kind of area by my desk, but that's just a hot mess right now. So we're using this wall to film at. I need to just clear all of the stuff off here because this is obviously the background and I don't want like clutter in it. Then the camera that I use, at the moment I'm filming on the Canon G7X. So this is kind of like my vlogging camera. And then the camera that I use to film my main videos is this one, which is the Sony A5000. This is something like 300 pounds. And the one that I'm filming on right now is near enough 600 pounds. And honestly, this comes out like I'm filming with a DSLR or something like that. Everyone always comes compliments me on the quality of it and it is literally down to these two things this camera and that light gives exactly the same effect as a thousand pound camera would like you could spend so much on this equipment but you really don't have to and this is a prime example of that i think i'm gonna film the i saw it first haul to begin with because i know that that one needs to go in for approval sooner than the rest of them so i'm gonna start off with that one and then see how we go because i feel like i'm gonna have to just get up early tomorrow and do a lot more filming then so i'm gonna quickly set up my lights and camera and then we will get filming with that haul Okay, so these are now set up just here and then obviously I'm just going to put my camera on top but for right now I need to move this coffee table out the way and then I also need to kind of angle this sofa out the way so I have room to stand here to then film that way. So that's where I'm at right now. Okay, so finally I'm getting somewhere and I'm now just about ready to film. This is the background that I'm kind of working with. So I have the two pictures in the back here, which are from Decenio. And then all of the little stuff that's on this chest of drawers here. And then that is literally just for like aesthetic purposes. Those pillows do not belong there. They usually sit on the sofa, but I just think it looks a little bit more cozier like that. I then also have these windows in the background. So you can kind of see outside a little bit, which I actually really like what it looks like in the videos. But I know full well that everybody outside can see me in here because of this massive bright light. But that's basically all I do to set up to film I am now ready to go okay so I'm finally done with filming as you can see this is like a little sneak peek as to what may or may not be in the haul that I just filmed honestly this is the best thing that's happened to me <laughs> in the longest time so I am now happily living my life in this onesie and have been ever since it arrived at my door but now <laughs> 
I really don't want to do this part of the vlog and I wish I could click my fingers and it was all done. I also can't believe that I'm about to show you this, but this is the state of my kitchen right now. How embarrassing is that? Like that's actually disgusting. So this is gonna be my next task to tackle tonight. Bearing in mind it's now 20 to 10, I must add, in the evening. So I'm gonna set the camera up. We're gonna do a little time lapse of clearing up this kitchen and then we're gonna cook. This is literally what life is like to run a full-time job and try and get your YouTube off the ground at the same time. But I'm gonna quickly flick on my little lights down here. My mum bought Brad and I these ages ago when we first moved in and they're literally like the cutest things ever. They're basically just these really cute B and E signs. It makes me really miss Brad though. I'm so sad, we've been together five years and he goes away for a night and I miss him. I obviously also need to put all of this stuff back to where it's meant to be. I wish you guys could like jump through the screen right now and help me do all this stuff. I'm just gonna set the camera up and do a little time lapse of me cleaning the kitchen because some of you out there might like it. If you don't, I will leave a number here on screen now that you can skip to if you don't wanna watch me cleaning because I kind of understand if you don't, but if you do, this is for you. Oh, I also, where the hell have I put it? I swear I put things down and they just completely disappear. Like I never know where I've put things. Literally, where has it gone? God, it could be any, I oh, found it. <laughs> so I bought this little ring light and it's like six pounds and you're meant to clip it onto the top of your phone. I'll show you how it works actually. Okay, so you can basically see that you just clip it on to your phone like this. And when you're then taking a picture, it has a little button on the back, which has three settings. You can press it three times and it makes it like ridiculously bright. Honestly, I actually bought this to go on my camera. So I think I'm gonna attach this to the top of the camera and see how it works. Oh my God. How much of a difference does that make? That's a higher setting and honestly that's too bright. <laughs> How insane is that? Like this is just a tight, it was as I say six pounds, you just clip it to the top of the camera and you've got great lighting wherever you go. Yeah, I need to stop rambling on. I'm really like putting off this cleaning if you, if you haven't gathered already. I'm gonna put you on a tripod actually. <sighs> right, let's start cleaning. I am actually also gonna get changed out of this onesie. The color white and cleaning doesn't really go together. I literally just got changed into what I was wearing before, but I've seen, I saw it first everywhere. And I feel like it was one of those brands that I was quite skeptical to buy from. Honestly, I'm so impressed with everything. When this video comes out, I will leave it linked down in the description if it is already out, but 100% the website is worth it. Like their stuff is genuine and it's such good quality for the price that it is. So yeah, I'm really happy with how that video turned out. You know, I showed you that I put the blankets and the cushions on that little like stool on the floor because it looked nice you literally couldn't see it at any point in the video so that was good but anyway procrastinating again because i don't want to clean this freaking kitchen <laughs> right i'm gonna start by putting the stuff in the dishwasher away because that's all clean and then we'll just tackle the rest i am just gonna quickly call brad because i haven't actually heard from him and he definitely should be in norfolk by now call b calling b red heart Oh, hey. Hi. Broke up? Yeah, just checking you're still alive. That little time lapse has completely drained my battery so i'm just gonna put you guys on charge and i'll finish this up i'll pick you guys back up when this battery is charged honestly the battery life on canon g7x's is atrocious like i understand why people have so many batteries but yeah i'll speak to you guys once i have just cleared up the rest of this mess 
Good morning guys. So I've basically spent this morning cleaning the rest of the flat because obviously I've got my friends coming over and to be honest it just needed like a proper deep clean. I've been doing that for probably about two hours this morning. I'm just gonna really quickly make myself a coffee, then I'm gonna do my makeup, then I'm gonna film a video and then finally there will be the cooking part of this vlog because i'm gonna make that curry and have some of it for lunch that is what today's gonna be basically <laughs> i'm sure a lot of you are gonna ask me about this cardigan it is the coziest thing ever and this is from house of cb and i do have a haul coming up with them very soon which i'm so excited for because all of their stuff is incredible including this i literally love it and i also have the mum jeans on which were in yesterday's Haul video that I filmed and these are from I saw it first and then this is literally just a boohoo bodysuit just in case you were wondering. I feel like a mug of coffee is all that's going to get me through today. I also just got a text to say that I've got a package downstairs and I think it's going to be this necklace that's arriving. So I've been speaking to this guy on Instagram and he's recently just set up a like jewellery company. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I usually wear like this coin pendant. And so many of you always ask me where it's from. But it's my granddad's and he sadly passed away before I was even born. So I literally have no idea where it's from. Like it's obviously not from a shop or anything. But this guy has basically brought out like coin necklaces. And as soon as I saw them, I was like... They are so similar to the one that I have. They basically just have like a little emblem on them, but they are exactly the same kind of concept. So I've been speaking to him and he's very, very kindly he sent me one over to show you guys and take some pictures for Instagram and stuff. So I will pop down in a minute and go and get that because they're like 40 quid. They're so inexpensive. This is exactly what I need right now. Literally feels so nice to have this all tidy. I've cleared the table for the first time in about two weeks. So that is finally clean. And then I've sorted out all of this kind of area. So I've just put everything back in its place. And then it's actually such a nice day today. It's not warm. Like it's actually quite cold in the flat, but it is sunny. I keep saying to you guys, but I promise you I'm going to be doing a flat tour soon. But just so you kind of gauge an idea, this is like our little lounge area. Obviously I need to like put shoes away and clear all of my filming stuff but i'm going to be filming a video very soon today as you know also here's a little sneak peek i have another lounge video coming up very soon in here is a new release which i'm really excited about and then also there is another new release in this one i believe as you can probably see i'm still on this pink hype literally all of these things are pink something else i really quickly wanted to just mention was obviously i told you guys yesterday that i have resigned from my job and if you follow me on instagram you probably would have seen that i kind of advertised it on my page and honestly i was actually overwhelmed by how many of you were in interested in the job so just to let you know obviously my job role is now available at Pan and Ice and if you are based in London and you are interested in a social media manager job I will leave a link in the description of where you can apply for the role because like I say so many of you were actually really interested in getting involved so I just went and grabbed the package from downstairs and here is the necklace that I was telling you guys about honestly even from the pictures that the guy was sending me it is so much more detailed than I thought and I'm obsessed with this as you can see it just gives off the exact same effect that my coin one does that you guys always asked me about so these are 40 pounds which honestly i think is so ridiculously cheap they also are sterling silver i believe so they're not gonna rust or tarnish or anything i think he's also gonna set me up a code so if it is already live then i will include the discount code on screen now so you can get even more money off but yeah i will leave his instagram and website link down below if you are interested I made myself some porridge down here and i've reheated my coffee because i didn't drink it in time literally the story of my life so i'm gonna do my makeup go and straighten my hair and then i'm gonna film the lounge video and then also I have the Talava video and the House of CB haul to film. So I've got a lot to do. I'm then going to cook after that and... Yeah, I'll speak to you guys once I've done my makeup. So I'm now ready to film. I've done my hair and my makeup and stuff. The first video I'm going to film is the lounge haul. And for this one I have a brief which actually is three pages long. So that's good. I've spoken to my manager and I pretty much know exactly what I need to include and stuff But I'm just gonna double check through those pages and see if there's anything else I need to add in and make sure I mention but you guys know how much I love lounge anyway I have so much of their stuff now and I literally wear it all the time So that'll be out on my channel on the 19th of November I'm probably not gonna speak to you guys for a couple of hours But I will pick you up again when I finally get round to cooking So filming is now finally done I feel like that really stressed me out more than it should have Sometimes you just have these days where you can't get your words out And it just gets more and more frustrating And I know at the start of this video I was basically just saying How much that I had to do this weekend But I'm just having one of those days Like I don't know what it is But I'm just 
not feeling it at all i was dressing myself up more trying to make myself do something that just isn't happening if you know what i mean so i'm gonna give it a break i filmed the video that i need to film there is more that i could do but i'm just gonna save it for in the week and i'm gonna just do some late nights and get it all done then i need to make myself some food because i'm really hungry now so i have finally finished hiding the flat my friends are gonna arrive in when i say friends literally one of them is my cousin and he's with my best mate so i'm basically eating my cousin and my best mate Anyway, irrelevant. They're gonna be here in literally like half an hour or so, but I promised you guys that I was gonna cook this meal in this video. So I'm gonna do it super quickly so I can get the whole thing in the video before they arrive. We do HelloFresh. So you basically pick out your menu and this is the dish that I've gone for. So it's lamb and chickpea curry. We get it every single day of the week. You can like choose three or four meals. This literally sounds like an advert, it's not. I just generally think it's one of the best services, especially when you're busy and you don't know what to cook for dinner. So then all the ingredients are down the side here and then over on the back it basically just has the method on how to do it your ingredients just come in a bag here and then basically all you need to do is follow exactly what this says and that's it pretty much so if you guys want to make this at home obviously you don't need to necessarily do hello fresh they actually do have links for every single one of their recipes on their website so i'll leave the link to this exact one in the description but these are the ingredients just in case you do want to kind of go out and get the ingredients yourself so we've got lamb mint passata a courgette those little star herb things sri lankan curry powder mustard seeds coriander one red pepper one red onion and chicken stock also we do need ginger i've got some ground ginger so i'm just going to add that in these exact measurements make a meal for two people the first thing that i have to do is brown off the lamb mince with no oil i'm literally just gonna pop this straight in the pan So whilst that's cooking, I'm going to move on to the next step, which is to prep the veggies. So I need to cut up the red onion, the pepper and the courgette and drain the chickpeas. So the next step is to cook the rice, but I actually remember that in here, I have this pilau rice that I'm just gonna microwave when it comes to actually eating it. So I'm gonna skip that step, but if you wanna know how to make it their way, you basically put the water in the pan and then you wanna stir in the rice, the courgette and the star herb, this little one here. But I'm just gonna throw the courgette in with the rest of the vegetables in the pan. So I'm just gonna fry it instead of boil it. So then on to step four, which is to make the actual curry. I literally just need to add everything into the pan here. So stupidly I forgot to record, but I've just put all the veggies in there now and I'm gonna cook this for five minutes and then add in all of the spices. So now it's been about five minutes, I'm gonna put in the Sri Lankan curry powder. And I'm just going to let that cook for a little bit longer. And then now I'm going to add in the passata. I'm actually going to add a can of tin chopped tomatoes because I want to make this with a little bit more sauce. You also then need 200 millilitres of water and then also to add the chicken stock. And then also the chickpeas. And then just stir that all in together. And then you just want to bring this up to the boil and then once it starts boiling lower the heat and let it simmer for another 15 to 20 minutes and then your curry is ready so my friends are going to be here really soon and i think i'm going to finish this vlog off here it was probably very mismatched and there was a lot going on it's been pretty hectic the last couple of days and i've not got as much done as i wanted to unfortunately but that's life and sometimes that just happens so yeah thank you guys so much for watching as always and i will speak to you all very soon in my next video bye guys <laughs>